Hello guys, uh, welcome to Selenium Training. Uh, okay, guys, so today I'm going to cover this topic that is what is Git? What is Git repository and what do you mean by GitHub? What is the difference between Git and GitHub? A lot of people say that, okay, Git and GitHub is same. No, it's not same. We will see that what are some basic features of Git, like, you know, we will create our first Git repositories and uh, the basic uh, code check-in and code check-out process and how to do a push and pull how to create the git clone for the existing repositories right so uh, let's start but before that i'll tell you that what exactly git what is the architecture of git okay what exactly github okay so let's see i have this my machine this is my eclipse in my local machine in my laptop this is eclipse and this is my machine and let's see in this machine this is eclipse let's see this is eclipse right and in this particular eclipse like uh, i have my project is available over here this is my selenium project that we have created let's see free crm or page object model or framework the complete project that you have created over here right and uh, this guy is naveen let's see this guy is naveen right so naveen is using his laptop its own eclipse and own version of thing right now we have another guy is also there let's see this guy is also there let's see this guy name is tom okay tom is also here and he is having the same thing that uh, he is using uh, he is working on the same project and he is also using his own eclipse and this is the project right the tom is also using the same thing over here now the code version in naveen's laptop and tom's laptop obviously different right he tom is having its own uh, code and own work and everything he is doing and Naveen is also doing the same thing let's see we have some other uh, automation QA engineers also they are using their own machine for that so but this is not a good practice let's see uh, Tom is working on home page and search page Naveen is working on let's see login page and registration page and they are using some common repository or some common code right they are using some common libraries so we have to ultimately we have to merge together and then either we will merge together Tom and Naveen and then we will execute from that machine. Let's see, we have another third machine is available over here, right? This is the third machine. What exactly it will do? Tom will uh, push the code over here and Naveen will push the code over here. And then this is the latest version. But who will do that stuff, right? Who will do that? Either I'll take my code in my pen drive and then I'll, uh, uh, and then I'll, copy paste my code over here so let's see this is Naveen code and let's see this is Tom code and including this particular code Naveen plus Tom okay we are merging both the codes together and let's see we are generating this particular code now this is the latest version of code but this is a headache let's see you have 10 developers or 10 automation engineers in your team then it will be a problem that every time someone has to push the code from here to here on this third machine so that uh, we can take the latest code every time we have to merge the code that's the biggest problem this is called source controlling problem that how exactly you are controlling your source code Ulti source code means your code that your project code so to resolve this problem what exactly we do we don't prefer this solution this solution is not preferred right this is a bad solution what we do guys we create a git repository <clears throat> so we have one hosting service available over the internet that is called github okay let's see this is called github and you are working with let's see uh, some xyz company let's see you are working with the uh, let's see you're working with google right so google is a company and you are an automation engineer in uh, tom is automation engineer and naveen automation is automation engineer in google what exactly they will do that we will create one account google account with github repository okay so we will this is let's say I'm working with Google and this is a Google GitHub. Okay. So they will create an account over here, Google GitHub. Okay. So this account will be created. Let's see, I have created that uh, uh, Naveen at the rate google.com and then I have created the account over here. Okay. So we will contact to Google will contact to GitHub and they will take the space on GitHub. And then Tom will be having its own email ID. Naveen will be having its own email ID that Tom at the red gmail.com and Naveen at the red gmail.com or google.com. Something like that. Now I can log into this GitHub. 
right and then i can access this particular service now what do you mean by github so github i would say it's a kind of website okay github is a website which provides different services okay different services what kind of services let's see it provides different you can create some wiki pages or conference pages it provides some uh, task management tool also task management activities also you can perform some like bug tracking also you can do that okay bug tracking also you can do that you can like uh, the it provides the hosting services for hosting services for your git git repo git repositories so these number of uh, different features are available over here okay in this particular github server okay so git is a simple website github.com and then what exactly you will do you will tom and naveen what exactly they will do tom and naveen we will let's see we have one admin let's see naveen is the admin or maybe some guy is the admin or maybe devops guy what exactly they will do they will create one admin account over here okay into this repository create one admin at the red google.com or something like that and they will create one repository for us okay let's see this is a repository for your code okay for your team they will create a repository let's see my repository name is let's see you are working with google let's see <coughs> google automation repository something like that they will create it over here okay google automation repository this admin guy or maybe naveen is the admin we have to create this repository now what we have to do we have to push our code from here now, now the naveen will push this code to this repository tom also will push this code to this particular repository another third guy also will push his code into this particular repository right now this repository is having couple of things this repository is having first of all is called branches okay we have different kind of branch let's see the first branch is by default it will create master branch okay then we have feature branch okay so we have two different type of branches over here that let's see i have master branch or feature branch now it's up to tom and naveen that uh, tom can push the code into master branch and naveen can push the code into master branch or feature branch let's see i'm working on on home page so i'll create another branch at home branch home page branch so i'll push the code into home page branch like that so it's up to this guy that he should have some access to create the branches over here and then push your code into the into this particular repository in a respective branch right now what will happen guys while pushing the code let's see tom is also pushing the code naveen is also pushing the code some other guy is also pushing the code over here now the the final version of the code will be created over here this is the latest version of the code will be created over here let's see i would say this is version number 1 version v1 will be created over here okay this is the v1 version will be created over here right now tomorrow i come to office i see that okay this is the latest version and then i can pull the code tom also can pull the code from here to here okay tom can pull the code from here to here right and naveen also can pull the code from here to here and this guy is also can pull the code from here to here so we have two process we have check in check in means push the code okay guys check in means push the code check in means push and check out means pull pull the code so this particular operation we will perform check in the code and check out the code right check in the code and check out the code so what will happen this latest version v1 will be available at tom site also so tom will be having this v1 latest version and naveen is also having the same version v1 right and this third guy also is having the latest version as v1 right so everybody is on the same page right all the resources are having the same page now let's see naveen is developing some code i have created some some feature and i push this particular code 
to this okay again to the repository let's see i'm pushing some another another thing over here let's see some something i have pushed it over here right and this is let's see after pushing now the latest version will be let's see v2 right now the latest version will be v2 after v1 <coughs> naveen has pushed the code into repository v2 let's see i have created home page 100 test cases i have created and i pushed my code over here now again it's tom and this guy responsibility to take the latest code from here okay to take the latest code the v2 code from here so that everybody should be on ultimate target is at the end of the day we should be on the same versioning okay everybody should be on the same version now the latest v2 will be given to this guy right he will pull the code okay from this repository immediately he will be notified that okay the latest version naveen has checked in something okay so i should take it's my responsibility i should take the latest code i'll take v2 code over here and then naveen is already having v2 because naveen is already pushed v2 and this guy is also the third guy is also having v2 code latest code so everybody is on the same level right everybody should be on the same level so this is called push push the code into repository and pull the code from the repository and everybody should be on the same level all the engineers should be on the same level let's see let's say tomorrow i join some company and i'm the very new guy right this guy is the very new guy okay this guy is very new guy so this guy he or she will be what exactly they will be doing he or she will be first of all given will be given to the access on this particular repository so that's why whenever we join the company we say that okay give me the github repo url and then i'll take the latest code from here okay the latest code let's see v3 or v2 or whatever i'll take the latest code into my machine so this guy is also having the latest code that is a v2 okay so every new guy is also having the the latest version of the code he should have he or she should have right so this is the basic basic uh, you know the design of uh, to improve the source controlling and there are some other features also to improve the source controlling and there is no uh, uh, confusion between the the versioning and everything so we have okay centralized repository this is called centralized repository in this repository is called git repository okay guys this repository is called what we have to call this git repository okay git repository and this git repository is hosted where this git repository is hosted over github okay hub is a kind of a server okay i would say github is a kind of a hosting server okay this is the kind of github server on this particular server okay number of companies they have registered and they have created their git repository let's see google let's see some other project they have their own automation projects or maybe developers projects are going on so they can create different git repositories over here like this okay like this okay and you can customize your github url the server url let's see if you are working in google so the let's see your server url it will be like this so whenever you see http google dot git hub dot com like this so you can customize your url it means this github services which is provided by which is taken by google tomorrow if you're working with let's see flipkart so it will be like flipkart dot github dot com like this so every company is having its own their own okay uh, uh server repositories registered on the github rep okay github server and they can create multiple repositories over there okay so this is the basic difference between git and github github means it's a hosting service it's simple just a website and on that particular github service hosting service you can create number of git repositories so git is nothing is a kind of tool okay i would say git is a tool so everything the check in and check out everything is happening through git this particular tool the check in check out push and pull versioning control creating the branches and everything okay it's happening through git not by github github is nothing github is just a simple site which provides some space to this particular tool git tool okay so now who is the owner like who i mean not owner exactly but who developed this this thing the git concept the git concept is developed by the founder of linux okay mr linus torvalds i mean just for knowledge point of view mr linus 
Torvalds. I would say founder of Git. He was a founder of Linux also. Okay, Linux Torvalds. He created that uh, Git repository, the Git concept for their Linux kernel check-in and check-out point of view. Lot later on, they created GitHub services and everything. So whenever we see that, okay, some some people they are using, let's see, I'm uh, I have pushed this particular code. Let's see, I created test ng over there, or let's see, Selenium web driver I created over there, right? So Selenium web driver code I have pushed my code into Git repository. Let's see tomorrow if I find some issue in in Selenium code that okay that your action classes are not implemented properly and I have some bug in Google Chrome and the Google Chrome.exe file latest version is having some problem. So I can, in this particular Git repository, against that repository, they provide different services. What kind of services? These kind of services like, uh, they provide some services. <coughs> These are called GitHub services. Like as I told you that it provides some wiki. Okay, they provide some wiki services and all. Wiki and uh, task management. Okay, task management or some bug tracking also. Okay, so these all services are provided. Okay, can be provided by these guys. Okay, so let's see to tomorrow if I find any Selenium bug in Selenium code itself, there, there might be a bug which is missed by their uh, testing team. So I can raise a bug. And they provide some wiki information, wiki pages also. Okay, what are different features and everything about the Selenium code and everything? Let's see some Apache Poi API is having some issue. Okay, so you can raise a bug, okay, against their repository. So all the hosting services like wiki, task management, and bug tracking, and these services are provided by GitHub. But Git is just a tool for version control point of view. This is also called this is also called SCM, Source Control Management. Okay, we call it SCM. SCM means Source Control Management. Okay, so D, we have different types of source control management tools are available in the market that we have Git, we have SVN, we have TFS, Team Foundation Server, provided by uh, Microsoft. Okay, we have VSTS, again that uh, provided by Microsoft that we have VF, uh, TS. I think uh, we have VSS also. I don't know if people are using VSS or not. Five years back, I used to use VSS. Okay, so all these are source control management tools. But one of the best tool is Git. It provides some very good features against okay Git and SV against uh, TFS and SPN and these things. So this is a basic concept of okay Git and GitHub. So always remember, they might ask you at a time of interview that what is the difference between Git and GitHub. Okay, so Git is just a tool and GitHub is a hosting service. Some other, on GitHub, a lot of other services like other tools like according to uh, according to GitHub, they provide, uh, Git is also a tool, again, SCM tool. If you heard about Bitbucket also, Bitbucket also, okay, Bitbucket also is, okay, is running on these things. So these are Git and Bitbucket, specially provided by GitHub, okay, from the same family, GitHub family okay fine so this is the basic architecture of Git. okay in the next session i'll tell you that okay we will do some uh, all these operations that how to check in the code and push and pull okay this is just for the basic architecture and basic interview question definitely they will ask you at a time of interview guys how exactly it works important features of git okay how will you uh, what is the difference between uh, push and pull uh, what is the uh, Git versus GitHub? What are the different services provided by GitHub? All these services provided by GitHub. Okay, you must know about all these things. In the next session, immediately I'll be uploading the next session also so that you can refer that, okay, how exactly uh, we will create our first Git repositories and everything. And then we will do some operation. We will create a project in Eclipse and we will push the code into Git repository and we will pull the code from Git repository and we will clone it and I'll tell you some basic operations from command line. Okay, so that's all for this session. And uh, if you really like this video, please share it and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys.